Today we are gonna check out some 2023 content for COD Mobile so definitely make sure to watch the full video. So what is up guys and welcome to the channel a new test server for season 1 and 2023 just dropped so we're gonna check out all of that new content. So here we go. So starting off with the new weapon which is gonna be an LMG known as the Dingo from BO3. This will be our first LMG in over a year and it should be arriving in season 1 2023. So it had a high fire rate at 722 rounds per minute and a moderate recoil which was pretty inconsistent. The mag size was 80 and the reserve was 160. It also did 30 damage up close and dropped off to 22 at further ranges. It actually had the lowest damage out of all LMGs in BO3. The Dingo was a 4 to 5 shot kill, depending on your range. So definitely give me your thoughts on the new gun for season 1 down below. Moving on some more, the new score streak coming to the game is actually pretty interesting and that is Wilson. I presume this is the MW19 version. So Wilson is a remote controlled drone vehicle type of thing armed with a powerful automatic cannon turret with unlimited ammo and it is small enough to go through most doors and move through tight spaces with ease. I'm honestly very excited for this, it's something quite different compared to what we usually receive. A new BR class was also found in the test server known as Missile Chip. What this is, is pretty much a missile turret which fires missiles at your enemies in BR once deployed. Surprisingly, it is not the most accurate as you guys can see in this clip over here. What do you guys think about this new class? Give me your opinions down below. Moving on some more, a new tactical was also found in the test server known as Stim Shot. What this does, once you inject yourself, it provides fast health recovery while increasing movement speed for a short period of time. A new blue perk known as Millions was also found in the test server. Over here is a translated description. So kills from your teammates will increase your operator skill recharge by 20% of their operator skill recharge, while your kills will reduce 60% of your operator skill recharge time. Kills and objective points will give an additional 10% points continuously. Note this only affects energy recharge speed, it will not affect points given by performance. Moving on some more, a new tournament camo known as Golden Emerald should be arriving in Season 1. Definitely curious to see how that is going to look. Also firing range has been updated, it has been remastered. The new look now resembles the Black Ops 4 version. So what do you guys think about this change? Let me know down below. Another change which I like quite a bit, you can now inspect your weapon while running, jumping and even sliding. Nothing massive but definitely a nice change. Also in the arsenal tab a new area has been made for prestige weapons. So we can now see three different icons. One for weapons, one for characters and one for prestige weapons. Moving on some more, according to leakers the next legendary character could be Thomas Merrick. Now I'm not gonna lie I am not upset by that but there is definitely some characters I would have liked to have seen before him but perhaps he looks really cool. I guess only time will tell. So okay with that that being said that is going to be all for today's video, I do want to say there will be a part 2 to this video which is coming out tomorrow with legendary weapons and a ton more changes, so definitely stay tuned for that. So ok with that being said that's all from me, have a great day, I'll catch all of you tomorrow with a new upload and for now, squally out and cheers, bye!